Hey everyone, this is Zach, just the guy from Indiana, coming at you for episode 30, the build-up. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, July 20th, Netflix, Dallas Cowboys Stadium. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe and check out all of our videos where we go topic by topic to make sure you have all coverage, Paul Tyson, all the way through their bout, July 20th. I cannot think of a better way to celebrate episode 30 than to be on the heels of the Ryan Garcia win over Devin Haney last night in a majority decision. And last night, he knocked down Devin Haney three times. And with a little bit of humor, Devin Haney continuously had called Ryan Garcia a one-trick pony, meaning he only had a left hook. Well, last night, that left hook knocked down Devin Haney. And so one trick pony it may be, but kudos to Ryan Garcia because that one trick is continuing to work. And so a little bit with Ryan Garcia. He is a 25-year-old kid with tons of internet fame, money, would have had a title last night if he didn't miss weight. Remember, he missed weight, which means he did not get a title uh, for that fight last night. It was no longer on the line after he had missed the weight. Ryan is now 24-1. and one. As we know, uh, Ryan is from Mexican heritage, but he was born here in the United States. And here's why this is important. Where do we go from here with Ryan Garcia? We know everything revolved around this fight with Ryan outside of boxing. His internet usage. He's admittingly talking about his mental health issues from age 17 to now the speculation of drugs and alcohol. Where do we go from here with Ryan? Because he is still at a very delicate age and now just won the biggest fight of his life. This is where I think someone like Oscar De La Hoya needs to step to the plate and be more than just a promoter. He has such an opportunity. He could really help Ryan turn his life around get laser focused, get better, and have a brand new outlook on his life, regardless, regardless of if he stays in boxing or if he goes into a different direction. I know Ryan also goes into music. Ryan has all these other things that he wants to do. But for whatever it is he chooses, Oscar De La Hoya is in a position where he can be the one to be one of Ryan's greatest mentors. And right now he is not. And let me explain why. If you remember in the press conferences or any interview in the build-up to this fight, I want you to remember Devin Haney's corner team, and I want you to remember Ryan Garcia's corner, his team. And in Devin Haney's corner was Eddie Hearn, one of the best promoters out there. Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Sports. He was team Devin Haney all the way. And in any of the, the press conferences, he would acknowledge that Ryan Garcia was a good fighter, but he would stand by how great Devin Haney is. He's one of the best pound for pound fighters. There's no way that uh, Ryan Garcia would beat Devin Haney. Devin Haney is one of a kind. He is one of the best we've seen, especially at age 25. And he's going to continue to chase greatness. And Ryan is just a stepping stone in that process. There was no doubt in anybody's mind that Eddie Hearn was 100% Team Haney. Not the case with Oscar De La Hoya. Should have been, but not the case with Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy Promotions, was representing... Ryan Garcia, but a very different tune. And you guys probably all know what I'm talking about. A very different tune. Anytime Oscar had a chance to speak at the press conferences or in these side interviews, he acknowledged that, yes, Ryan Garcia is a great fighter, but so is Devin Haney, and this will be a great fight. Do you remember how short he would leave that? He kept himself in the middle, guys. He kept himself right in the middle. 
Yes, Ryan Garcia is a great fighter, but so is Devin Haney. This will be interesting to watch on April 20th. He did not fully side with Ryan Garcia. And call it what you will, Ryan's erratic behavior outside of boxing, call it what you will, but Oscar should have been there and should have been 100% Team Ryan Garcia. Because let me tell you, if you guys have already seen the fight or you're seeing the fight highlights now, which are out, after the fight, who is right next to Ryan Garcia with a pure smile on his face the entire time but Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar De La Hoya, the way he looks after that fight, when Ryan's being interviewed after his victory, you would think they were buddy-buddy from day one. Let me remind you, they were not. Oscar was not 100% Team Garcia, but he certainly looked like it after the fight. And after the fight, he's also quoted saying, Ryan Garcia just became legendary tonight. Ryan Garcia has a will to win. And I am proud of Ryan. That's all fine and good, but you are doing that after Ryan Garcia won for you in the fight last night. Eddie Hearn was 100% Team Haney. Oscar De La Hoya was neutral. He was not 100% Team Garcia until last night after seeing that Ryan won. That's not fair, and let me explain why. Oscar De La Hoya is also Mexican heritage. He was also born in the United States. He was a heck of a boxer. At He's 51 years old now, but he was 39 and six as a boxer. He is the first American of Mexican descent to own a boxing promotional for, uh, firm, which we know again, Golden Boy Productions. As a fighter, he generated $700 million in pay-per-view, which was huge back then. But here's some relatable aspects. Oscar struggled with alcohol and cocaine. He'd combined the two, dangerous amounts. And Oscar De La Hoya later referred to his alcohol rehab as one of the roughest fights of his life, but totally worth it. Now look, again, I don't know everything that Ryan Garcia does in terms of his alcohol and drug usage. I don't. I know there's a lot of speculation, but I'm I, I'm not there. I'm not, you know, I'm not around Ryan Garcia. But there's certainly things that hint towards addiction of some sort, whether it's addiction to the internet. His fame, his money, his power, possibly alcohol, drugs. But if there is something there, who could be the better, who could be a better role model than Oscar De La Hoya? It's almost the same path in many ways. Great boxing careers, Mexican descent, born in the US, all the all the money, all the fame. The one person who could have the most impact on Ryan Garcia's life now moving forward is got Oscar De La Hoya. And here's what I hope doesn't happen. I hope that Oscar does not just say, okay, I was there. Ryan won under my production company. I am going to just continue to move on to the next fighters until it's time for Ryan again. And then guess what? I'm going to be buddy-buddy with him again and make sure that he still fights under me for Golden Boy Productions. That's the easy way out. Oscar has a ton of money. That is the easy way out. Instead, he has an opportunity to make sure that Ryan is in good hands as a 25-year-old kid with all of this. Very comparable to how Oscar was. To make sure that he does get the help he needs. That he does step up to make sure Ryan has avenues to be assisted in any way possible to flourish in life as he moves forwards in his career. And whether he moves forward in his career in boxing or decides to do one of the other things that obviously Ryan loves to do, it doesn't matter. 
He is at the delicate age where this influence from Oscar, who is so relatable to the career of Ryan Garcia, could be used right now more than ever. So to close, I really hope Oscar takes advantage of knowing that he could be a role model and set the stage for a successful life moving forward for Ryan Garcia. And don't just go on to the next fight, shoo Ryan off, and say Ryan's current fight is done and I am on to the next. Because this is a monumental fight for Ryan Garcia. And I don't want to see his erratic behavior spike even more. Because that could be so harmful. And when you have someone like Oscar De La Hoya, who's also been through all of this, so relatable, both in the ring and outside the ring, he is the one with the most opportunity to make sure Ryan Garcia is going to be okay moving forward. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching the fight last night. If you haven't, definitely check out the highlights. Garcia did a fantastic job in that fight. Have yourself a great rest of the day. Thank you for celebrating episode 30 with me, and we'll be back with episode 31 tomorrow. Take care, guys. Love you as always.